Hi, I'm Sam Drury, the Deputy Director of Recreation, Parks and Tourism, and I'm here to share some exciting news on some ongoing park projects currently taking place within our department in Charles County. I'm standing here at La Plata Farm Park, one of three ongoing projects that are in planning and development phase. While it may not look like a park now, imagine the space full of families bringing their kids to a large destination playground, accessible walking trails for everyone, open spaces for play, and in this particular park, some agriculture and educational elements as well. These are the types of ongoing projects and discussions that are taking place, and we need your help with this too. So what is the planning process within our parks and how did we get here? We just completed our 2022 Land Preservation and Parks and Recreation Plan, which is a guiding document that uses both historical and inventory data and combines that with the public input to help formulate goals and recommendations for the county over the next five years. Coming off of the LPPRP adoption, in July 2022, our department started a three-pronged project as we looked at a functional approach to meet the countywide needs of our facilities with three properties that we've acquired but yet to develop. La Plata Farm Park, Pope's Creek Waterfront Park, and Waldorf Park. Our goal with these park developments is to be as inclusive and diverse as possible and to gather the public input as our consultants work to conceptualize what these parks could look like. With the goal to gain as much public input as possible through the process, we've solicited volunteers to help join on a public parks task force. We started the public parks task force process in July of 2022 and we received an overwhelming response and created a task force of 45 volunteers to provide input and help steer the design. There have been a couple task force meetings as well as additional focus group meetings for accessibility and accommodations, as well as an agricultural and educational meeting specific for La Plata Farm Park. Let's talk about the three projects and then our next steps with them. Let's start with Waldorf Park, a piece of property approximately 93 acres located off of Matta Woman Beam Town Road between St. Peter's Church and Poplar Hill Road. The overwhelming design theme for this park has revolved around athletic fields and active recreation that is family friendly. While we are currently working on separate turf field projects at Laurel Springs and White Plains parks, we know that we have a need for additional athletic fields and this park will help serve that purpose. The goal for this park is to have multiple athletic fields which will accommodate several sports, but additionally, we would like to have a large destination playground with some family fitness features, outdoor basketball courts, pickleball courts, walking trails, dog parks, and pavilions have all been ideas that have been shared. Our second piece of property, as the county may be familiar with, is the former Gilligan's Restaurant, located off of Pope's Creek Road, and includes property along the Potomac waterfront, as well as an upper parcel along Pope's Creek, and totals almost 180 acres. This property was identified and purchased with the main goal to provide waterfront recreational opportunities and direct access to the Potomac River. That remains the primary focus of this park as we look to enhance the beach area, kayak launches, fishing opportunities, pavilion rentals, and potentially a boardwalk over Pope's Creek or alongside the river. But along with that, there's some unique natural and ecological features, which we're also looking to include a nature center, additional trails, and provide outdoor programming. We're also looking at ways to connect this property to our Pope's Creek Rail Trail Lastly, La Plata Farm Park is approximately 54 acres accessible off of St. Mary's Avenue and connecting to 301 and is adjacent to the town of La Plata's Wills Memorial Park. This property was once a working farm and remains one of the guiding principles to preserve and further educate the agricultural heritage of Charles County through the balance of active and passive recreation. Discussions for this park have included a farm themed playground and spray ground, open spaces, pavilions, garden areas, and educational spaces. At this stage, we're at the point where the consultants have taken all the ideas and feedback from our staff, as well as the task force, and put it into a final concept, which will be presented to the public in February. Again, this is the part that we need your help and would like to have public participation and feedback to ensure that we have captured the needs of the community. All of the current information is shared on our, on our website, and we encourage everyone to follow and review as we will provide additional information and reminders of these upcoming meetings. And I do have a special request to all the parents, grandparents, and guardians. If you're looking at these projects, please also involve your children and ask what they want to see. What do they want to play with? How do they want to see our parks? As we know that they're one of our biggest users. Once again, we need your help to provide input and feedback so that we can put these in place for within our parks. 
For more information, please visit our website, charlescountyparks.com, for up-to-date information on these projects, as well as many of our other programs and activities.